Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm hoping that your Halloween shows are starting okay if you're starting this weekend. If you're not starting till next weekend, you've still got a few days of panic to go. If you're in that boat and you're looking for a particular video, don't forget to check out the website, gregmackery.com. I'll stick an, a little QR code down here so you can go and find it. All of my back catalogue are in there in the archive. And of course, there's guides for newbies. And now we've got a new area where I'm setting up uh, some downloads for, of STLs for things like panel mounts. Uh, and I've got an area there for lots of color light stuff as well. And I'm slowly going to be expanding on that. So if there's stuff that you'd like to see, stick it down in the comments below. Now, I'm after a little bit of input from you guys, first of all. Main thing is to don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And the second thing is please do comment below on how you think I might improve these videos. Do you think I should continue with the short weekly videos, or would a longer one every two or three weeks maybe be better, something a bit more in depth? Let me know down below, and I'll have a good look at them and reply to comments and stuff down there. Now, it's only a short one this week because I'm getting ready to head away for a few days down to the Bridgewater Carnival in Somerset, where we're going to take a look at some behind the scenes stuff at some of the, uh, the floats or the carts, as they call them down there. Uh, and they are they're massive, huge, great uh, lighting setups on wheels. And we're going to have a look at behind the scenes. A lot of them these days are using pixels with some of the well-known controllers. So it's going to be good to get an insight on how that all comes together. So the video for that will be in a couple of weeks because I won't have time to put it back together for next week. Anyway, this week we're going to have a quick look at sound levels when we're playing our show. Now when we're assembling all of our different sequences, we're grabbing audio files from all sorts of places. Um, from stuff from Amazon and some from other online stores, MP3 downloads, rips off um, maybe a CD or something like that. And we're gathering them all together into one place. Now, as a result of that, it's quite possible that our sound levels across different songs are at different amplitudes, at different volumes. And I wanted to just have a quick look at those with you and show you how we can easily resolve problems there and get them all to a nice steady level throughout the show so that we don't have to be tweaking the volumes. Oh, that was a bit low, turn it up. Oh no, that was too high, turn it down and, and so on. Now I've got a few songs in here ready to go. If I go to Content Setup and File Manager and click on the Audio tab, here you can see that I've got three pieces of music already set up as part of my show. If I click on Baby Shark, we can listen to that. Baby Shark do, 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 do. Baby Shark do, do. And I think you'll agree that the volume level on that was, was quite low. That was fairly hard to hear. If we try Christmas every day, And last but not least, The Greatest Showman. Although the volume isn't that high, it's being driven a bit hard and we can hear it clipping. So that needs a little bit of work. Now, the quickest way to level out the audio on all of our songs, if we're running FPP, is simply to use the MP3 gain option in here. We can simply highlight all of our tracks and run MP3 gain. There we go. And it's buzzed through them very quickly. And we can see that it needs to gain a bit of amplitude, a bit of volume on Baby Shark. It's suggested that we increase by five. Christmas Every Day, it's adjusted it by minus five. And The Greatest Showman, it has uh, recommended 
reducing by minus 5. Now those results are going to be saved in FPP against each track. So when those tracks are now played, they will be adjusted to the right volume level. So that's a really quick and simple way of doing it. Now if you're not using FPP as a single instance, maybe you've got a number of setups of FPP running with the different audio files, if you've got different speakers around the place, it's not recommended and I wouldn't um, suggest you do this, but I know that there are people that do. Then, or if you're running X schedule, then you need to amend the music files and get the levels right before you push to FPP or X schedule. Now, there is a free tool to do this and it's called Audacity and it's available from audacityteam.org. I'll stick a link down below. Download that for your relative platform, get it installed, and then it will look something like this. So I'm gonna open my music track in Audacity. Let's go to File, Open. I'm gonna open my Baby Shark track first of all. And we can see straight away that it's not very loud. The waveform in here is quite small, and therefore it's fairly quiet track. What we want to do is we want to normalize it to set it to a standard level. So I'm going to go to Control A to highlight the whole track. I'm then going to go to Effect. I'm going to go to Volume and Compression, and I'm going to go to Normalize. We want to set the normalized peak amplitude to minus, minus 1 dB, which is correct, and apply. There we go. Audacity has analyzed the track and it has increased the volume to a standard level, which you can see is a lot louder than it was. We can then go to File and Export Audio. I'm going to call it Baby Shark 2 and save it so that I've got a copy of the original just in case. There we go, that one's done. We can then straight away move on to the next one. So I can do a file, open. I can grab Christmas every day. And you can see that that is a hell of a waveform there. That's pretty much very nearly maxed out all the way along. So once again, I'm gonna do a control A. I'm gonna to go to effect, volume and compression, normalize, normalize to minus one. And it's just dropped it a tiny bit there. We saw it shrink very slightly, but that was pretty close actually. So not bad. So export audio, and I'm gonna call that Christmas every day two again. Export, done, and exactly the same for the last track in case we hadn't memorized it already. So I can open The Greatest Show. This one's a bit longer, it's a full length track. And it's got a good height on the waveform, so I don't know how much it's gonna adjust, but we'll see. I've done a Control A to select all, effect, volume and compression, normalize, to minus one dB, and it did shrink it down slightly to bring it back into line. I can then do a file, export audio, happy days, we'll check, make that greatest show two, export, and there we go. That is, that is all of our clips set to the same volume level, so they're all gonna sound nice and even now. And what I can do is I can then remove these old ones, let's delete, and I can go and select my new ones. There we go, Baby Shark, Christmas Every Day, oh. There we are, that's our new ones, open. And they'll run it, they'll upload now. And there we go, our new audio files are all uploaded. Because I've stuck a two on the end of them, you might need to adjust them when you're setting up your playlist to make sure that it's pointing to the right tracks. 
but we know that they're all going to be at a good volume level. There we go. Short and sweet this week. I do hope things are going well. Do take care. Have fun. See you next one.